Hi, I'm Jordan Klebanoff. I'm an OBGYN resident at Christiana Hospital, and welcome to this week's episode of Pocket Pearls. I'm here with my co-residents, Dr. Tony Paserno and Dr. Chelsea Kibido, and we're talking about antenatal corticosteroids. As we're all aware, respiratory distress syndrome and its complications have long-term effects on infant neo neonatal mortality and both long- and short-term neonatal morbidity. Antenatal corticosteroids have been shown to reduce the incidence of respiratory distress syndrome, intraventricular hemorrhage, necrotizing enterocolitis, and death. So I think Dr. Kibido has some questions for us today. Which women should receive intervention? Identifying women at risk for preterm delivery can be really difficult. About 30% of true preterm labor will resolve spontaneously, and 50% of women who are hospitalized for threatened preterm labor will actually go on to deliver at term. In general, any woman who is at risk of deliver delivering within the next seven days should be offered antenatal corticosteroids. Are there specific gestational age ranges where steroids should be offered? That's a good question. The best evidence currently tells us that when women are at high risk for delivering within the next seven days, they should be offered antenatal corticosteroids between the gestational age ranges of 24 and 34 weeks. But what about women past 34 weeks? Aren't they getting steroids now? That is true. That is based on data from the recently published ALPS trial where there was shown to be benefit um, for women receiving a single dose of antenatal corticosteroids between the gestational ages of 34 weeks and zero days and 36 weeks and six days. Do we ever get more than one course of steroids? That's another great question, Dr. Kibido. Women that are less than 34 weeks pregnant, if they're still at high risk for preterm delivery within the next seven days, and they've received a previous course of steroids more than seven days ago, they can have a repeat dose of what's called rescue steroids. What kind of steroids do we give? Normally, we administer betamethasone 12 milligrams intramuscularly 24 hours apart for two doses. As an alternative option, you can also use dexamethasone 6 milligrams administered intramuscularly every 12 hours for four doses. So how long do the effect of steroids last? That's important to understand. Generally, the peak benefit of the steroids occurs 48 hours after the first injection, and that peak lasts up to about seven days. However, we know that there is some benefit even 24 hours after getting a first dose, so even if there's low suspicion that the mom will get the second dose, you shouldn't withhold the first dose. Two, one, action. Which room? <laughs> Which room are we in? <laughs> Well, Chelsea. The best evidence currently tells us that when women are at high risk for delivering preterm within seven. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like you were Stop fighting like a laugh. Take three, three, two, one, go. That's a good question, Chelsea. <laughs> I gotta sneak that in there.